Warwick focused upon to play Pokemon Yellow in the last episode. Uh, we did some stuff. We did a lot more on the SSN. She's got a few floors to go. And hopefully no one hurts me. Hello. Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? No, I haven't. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon. Good. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. Well, nice of you to be able to travel straight to Fuchsia City. Thank you very much for making me feel like crap. What about you? The captain looked really sick and pale. This ship's going to be doomed to sinking, I guarantee you that much. I hear many people get seasick. Because we're on... <gasps> the sea? Never. Alright, well we're going to our battle with Prick, it looks like, so uh... I'm going to put Louie up front because I'm pretty certain he's going to kick off with Pidgeotto. Hello, Prick. How are you doing? Bonjour, Master! Meant to see you here! Master, were you really invited? Not really. I just turned up after the party. Obviously, you're drunk. I couldn't get a drink, damn it! So, how's your Pokedex going? I already caught 40 cans, pal! Different cans are everywhere! Crawl around in grassy areas! And randomly, then he wants to fight me. So, apparently, Prick has caught like 40 different types of Pokemon. That's nice and everything, but why you've only got four Pokemon on your team? Oh, for God's sake. Who the bloody hell's that? Someone. Okay, never mind. Thundershock time! Okay, so I was wrong, it wasn't Pidgeotto, but Spiro is pretty much... Well, it's a flying type. Electric types own it. See you, Spiro. Thanks for coming. And a critical hit where it's not needed, in typical Pokemon fashion. Next up is a Rattata. Okay. Uh, hmm. Eh, we'll bring in Mudpants, why not? The obvious, uh, the initial idea would be to bring in, um... Oh god, I completely forgot his name. Prime Rib, but never mind. Confusion should be more than enough to take out Rattata in one hit. Due to Rattata's very crappy defenses. And special defenses. Next up is Sandshrew, gonna stay in here, I think. Level 18, let's Confusion him too! Ha! Take that! You're dead too. Go Mudpants. And last up is the Eevee. Do you want Mudpants make it a, well, three out of four full house? Tail Whip. Part of my team is very over leveled. I don't like that very much. Oh, Eevee at least can survive shots. That's good to know. Here's another confusion for you and it's not gonna kill it. Oh, it is. Okay, well game slight loves me a bit in this part. Prick to feed, very easy victory. Hmm. At least you're raising your Pokemon! Unlike you! I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he was just a seasick old man! But Cut itself is really useful! You should go see him! Smell you later! A pitiful! Who can't walk away from this music! Yeah! Wow, he took the worst route! Why go here and then go down? Is he trying to burn those calories? Taking extra steps? His Pokedex has been transformed into a pedometer for some reason. And let's go see seasick old man. First off, like we always do, yuck, shouldn't have looked. <laughs> Love that. Oh, I feel hideous. Oh, seasick. Master rubbed the captain's back. Rub rub. Rub rub. Rub rub indeed. Whew, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see that my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. Well, you're not now. You seem okay now, since I, I miraculously went Jesus on your ass and rubbed your back. I know, you can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon, and you can you, you can see it cut anytime. Only you have no room. I knew I wouldn't have any bloody room. Alright, well, something's got to go, it looks like. What is going to go here? Hmm. Oh, well, let's get rid of the Great Ball. We don't really need Great Balls at this point, so, yeah. I gotta rub your back again! God damn it, game! I don't wanna rub the guy's back! Give me cut! Git! Give me cut! Thank you! Cut time! Alright, that is gonna be instantly taught to one of my Pokemon, because, to be honest, I kind of need it. Uh, Sandy Man! Perfect! Thank you, Sandy Man! Back on form as being the HM Slay for the moment. Right, well, carrying on, um, 
We're gonna leave the SSN. We have done everything we need to do. That stupid woman still is not gonna get a cherry pie. Yeah, pretty much. And I hope those sailors finally get a separate, get an extra bed. Because to be honest, that's taking the piss. If you're gonna outfit all these rooms, at least give the people the proper amount of beds. Bloody SSN. Oh no, wait, I haven't got Louie with me. Louie! Louie, no, why have... Has Louie abandoned me on the ship? What the hell is this? Louie has left me. He wants to go traveling on the SSN, so he's left me here. And stuff like that. What the hell? Oh, he's there. Were you hanging out in the water or something? I know there's a special event Pikachu you can get in, like, I think Generations 4 or something like that, which can learn Surf, but come on! That is stupid! Stupid oopid, that is. Alright, so I'm gonna go heal up and see you back here in a bit for our, uh, gym battle. Also, I'm gonna go sell some stuff. Alright, I'm back, and I didn't actually do any, uh, any getting rid of stuff. I just put it in the box instead. You never know when you need it. Alright, hmm, what's this? Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans, welcome. Hey! There you go, I am now here. And what are you doing, Louie? Oh, for God's sake. Louie's in love again! What now? A Clefairy? you seen it? it? It's like a bloated whale. Pikachu, if you seriously do anything, you're going to go on Jeremy Kyle soon, and it's not going to be nice. He's going to tell you to get a job. Get off the weed, stop smoking, all that stuff, and perhaps make your day a living hell. Right, sup buddy, with your stupid Rapidash. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I have more than 100 Pokemon. I love them all. Five of them are Pidgeys. 94 of them are Rattatas. But then there's a good one. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come to hear me brag about my Pokemon? Yes, I did. Good, then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It cute. It's cute. Great grammar game. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing, you think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Bike voucher! Nice. Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry, my ferret will fly me anywhere. Sorry, my ferret will fly me anywhere, so I don't need a bicycle! I hope you like cycling. I never learn how to cycle. Right, Louie, are you gonna... Oh, for God's sake. Louie, come on. He's in love. Come on, Louie. You can make your proposals and wedding vows later. Alright, well, looks like it's time for our, uh... Our gym battle, eh? Thanks to the maneuver cut. Welcome to the most annoying gym in the game. I'll chat with you guy, why not? Yo, champ in the making! Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. Because he's American. Looks like Guile. He's an expert on electric type Pokemon. Birds and water Pokemon are at risk. Beware of paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You'll have to break a code to get to him. He's very insecure, more like. Great, here's the bloody bins. So, we should know this by now, one of these bins holds a switch. Then, a, uh, a bin adjacent to it will hold another switch. If you get it wrong, then, well, you gotta do it again. Oh yes. This is where the bullshit happens, folks. The bullshit. There's a switch. I'm gonna predict right. Nope, there's nothing. And the electric locks were reset. Damn it, game. Well, this is what the game will do to you. This is... This is very tedious. And then the switch has changed. It's like, what psychic powers does Lieutenant Surge have to do this? Oh, great. Uh, here? Nope! Ha 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 ha. Ah, I truly hate this bit. Yeah, man. I want to do this before I take on any trainers, to be honest. What about you? No. This one? No, there's only trash. This entire system is trash. Nope. Well, I'd love for it to be in one of these corners, because then I've only got two options. Oh, great. Let's go for the one on the right. Nope! Okay, well, I'm going to go and find out where it is and see you back in a bit. God damn it. 
There's one. Yeah, there you go. All right, door is open. We could take on Lieutenant Surge now, but to be honest, I want to take out these goobers first. Uh, Sandy Man, you are easily our best option here, due to the fact that you're ground type and negate all electric moves. This is no place for kids. Sure is. So why are you here? You weird sailor guy. You got yourself a Magnemite. Great. Well, you can't use any thunder moves on me. Ha ha ha. Sandy Man can't really do much to you either, to be honest. But um, due to the fact you're not still time to generation two. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Coconut ice back again. There you go. There's a Sandy Man crit for you. And of all things, you Sonic Boom just as you're about to die. Great, well, you're beaten. Go and cry about it at home. Level 22 for Sandy Man, very nice. And we defeated the Sailor, very good. Wow, surprise me. Damn right, oh yes! And Sandy Man at level 22 is evolving. This is going to make Sandy Man a lot more of a threat. He's not going to be on the main team, but that's going to make him a bit more of a threat. He's now a Sand Slash. Making his power even better. What's up, buddy? I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. You've just confessed to being shit at drinking. Ha. Alright, so this is Rocker. Wants to fight. There's... There's no guitar. There's no drum. There's just some weird sort of, like, whip thing. Rockers don't have whips. That's just weird. Unless, like, there's a weird, like, dominatrix style to... Rock that I never even seen before, which I hope I will never see. By the way, Sandy Man looks really weird from this sprite. But that's fine, he's kicking ass. So that I'll easily take that. Next up is a Nova Voltorb. Alright. This one is level 20 as well. There's a Sonic Boom. Bloody Sonic Boom. I do not like that move early game. It's not a nice move to be caught in. Luckily, you're dead to another critical hit. Because Sandy Man is awesome. And last up is a third final Vault Orb. This one is also level 20. And is stupid to not go for the Sonic Boom. And Sandy Man makes it three in a row for criticals. Thank you, Sandy Man. Just proves how awesome critical hits were in the first generation. Fried! Like an egg? Indeed. You're next. Hello. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict co. Your strict co? Oh, commanding officer, I'm guessing. If I had to pick it, I mean, it could just be co as in company. Strict company, yeah. All right, Sandy Man, could we make it four and four? Oh, no, we can't. Thank you, Voltor, for being an ass. God damn it, Voltor. Oh, he lived it. What the hell, Sandy Man? That was amazing. I'm genuinely shocked. How the hell did Sandy Man survive that? Go on, Sandy Man. Finish him off. Finish him off. No. Well, Sandy Man. Oh, no, he's in it again. He survived again. Sandy Man survives again. I can't believe that. I'm literally gobsmacked. The Sandy Man survived the self-destruct there. Stop. You're very good. All right. Well, I'm going to go heal uh, before I battle with uh, Guile over there. And I'll see you back in a bit. Alright guys, we are back. I still can't believe Sandy Man did that. Uh, do you know what? Just for that, Sandy Man's gonna total Lieutenant Surge. I know it. Turn hut! Welcome to the Vermilion Gym! We look at that! A pan-sized challenger! Ha <laughs> ha! You've got a big and brassy nurse to take me on with your puny power! A Pokemon battle is war! I'll show you, civilian! I'll shock you until surrender! Good luck doing that against a ground type. Ha! Here we go. It's time for Guile. He has one Pokemon. It's his level 28 Raichu. Obviously trying to c continue on with the uh, with the anime where I believe he only had a Raichu. Oh god, it's got Mega Punch. Well, Sandy Man can take that. He can take self-destruct all day. Oh yeah! See what you got now? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sandy man, take a bow, son. Take a bow. That was simple. Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. 
Fine then, take the Thunder Badge! We got loads of money, hurrah! The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed! It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid! Even though we don't get fly for a lot later. You're special! See, Jimmy? You're special! We'll even put a notice on the fridge for you. Here, take this! We got TM24, which is Thunderbolt, so yes, that's great. TM24 contains Thunderbolt! Teach to an electric type Pokemon! Or any Pokemon that's of normal variety that usually is able to learn it. Like Raticate. Like Clefairy. Please don't use it on Clefairy. It's very sort of wussy. Why would you use it on Clefairy? That's mean of you. That's not very nice. Alright, well, let's go heal up. Uh, Sandy Man. Maybe I should have Sandy Man as a member of my team. I'm considering it now because. That was impressive. I'm probably gonna get like someone in a comment who knows a lot more than me, which usually does happen, saying like, oh, self-destruct wasn't very powerful back in generation one. Sandy man, blah 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 blah. But the matter of the fact is, I had no clue the Sandy Man would have survived that. And he survived that with panache. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh Go to my box in the Pokemon Center, because we're actually going to be getting a new Pokemon soon. Uh, which is going to be very, very good for us. Let's deposit... Prime Rib, I think. See ya, Prime Rib. Because I believe... If we go down here... We should be able to get a Pokemon from this woman. Officer Jenny. You have the Thunder Badge? You must be a good trainer. I just caught a squirrel that was always getting into mischief. Would you like to take care of it? Sure would! We got some squirrel! Hurrah! Alright, so I'm gonna call my squirrels what I always call my squirrels. I used to call them blue or whatever, but since my uh, Let's Play, or since my sort of Pokemon thing, I've always called them Lexi because that's pretty much like my first competitive squirrel and it was a legend. So we got some squirrel level 10, which actually looks like a squirrel. I'm as shocked as you are. And it has bubble and stuff, so not bad, actually. Level 10, though, that's the only problem with it. So, uh, let's go back, shall we? We have to go back, Marty. So, we're on our way back now to Cerulean City because, well, this place is dead to us. Oh, wow, and actually made that without causing any problems. Hurrah! Walking all the way, really, really bored. I have no clue why they make these so long for! I know it's to try and sort of incorporate where you are and stuff like that, and that's fair enough, but come on! Just... Just make it easy! Just don't make it boring and stuff! Right! Randomly, the sky turns blue instead of a weird-looking green. And we are back in Cerulean! Hurrah! At least Louie's getting better at all that jumping stuff. That's good. Alright, where is it? Where is it? There it is. The bike shop! Now normally, a bike would cost you one million Poké Dollars, which in this game I believe is impossible, so yeah. Oh, that's a bike voucher! Okay, here you go! Bike voucher! So we now have ourselves a bicycle! Hurrah! And I'm going to... Since the bicycle is at the bottom, I'm going to switch it to the top, making it easier to get to. Let's go for a bit of a ride on our newly acquired bike! Yeah! And Louie, I have no clue where Louie's gone, but never mind! Alright, so, um, I'm gonna go here, why not? We'll leave it off here with this amazingly awesome music. In the next episode, let's play Pokemon Yellow! Not gonna do it now, because I've gotta be, I've gotta go to work in about half an hour. But, in the next episode, we will go right! East. Uh, that way. This way here. Anyway, I'll see you then.